now in the video today, I'm over here at the allotment in the middle of a heat wave. That must be crazy. And I'm drinking plenty of water, which means the plants are also going to need plenty of water. So that's what I'm going to do today. But I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm Gang Gang. Welcome to the channel, Gang Gang and Peanut, two peas in a pod. So I've moved around to a spot on the plot under this apple tree, which is lovely and cool and lovely and shaded. And it feels much better here. Now I wanted to talk to you in this video about watering your plants over at your allotment or at home in your vegetable garden, but specifically today here on the allotment plot. Now when I water, I normally use a watering can and I end up going up and down and up and down and that's how I normally water the plants. Now that uses a lot of energy. In a hot day, it doesn't take long before I'm absolutely worn out. Now something else that I sometimes use, if I have enough water in the IBC tanks, is a hose pipe that's connected to a pump that pumps it out of my IBC tank. However, that does use quite a bit of water. And when I've got a limited amount, it's not the best way to water the plants. So I've decided I'm going to automate the watering system over here at the plot. I found some pipe, I have some drippers, and if I connect that to my IBC, that should solve the problem. The only problem with that idea was, I'd actually have to be here to turn on the tap and turn the tap off. Hmm, let me think on. I think there's going to be a better way than that. So after searching around on the internet and doing many hours of research, I found something and it is this. And this is an Irrigatia weather responsive, solar powered, automatic watering system. And hopefully by using it, it means I won't have to use this. Now this is the Irrigatia weather responsive, solar powered watering system. Sounds fantastic. And it's their latest version. It's the C36 Q series. And the Q stands for quiet because the pump on this one is supposed to be much quieter than previous models. And it uses the sun to power the system and it waters every three hours and it adapts to the weather. So the hotter it is and the sunnier it is, the more water it delivers. Now all I need to do is check everything's in the box and start to set this thing up. And hopefully it's going to do exactly what it says on the box. Now I've opened the box and it comes with, obviously, this unit, which is where the pump is housed, with the solar panel on the front. And the solar panel powers these three batteries, which fit into here in a tiny battery cassette. That all seems straightforward, doesn't it? It also comes with a attached hand controller to turn it on and off and to set the different programming that you may want. And also it has this, and this is a sensor that senses how much water's left in your water barrel or rain butt. So it stops the pump from running dry. It comes with lengths of hose. I've also bought a seep hose extension kit. It also comes with various bits and bobs for attaching the lengths of pipe with tees and drippers and various bits and pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this together, run the pipe around the allotment where I want it, and let's see if it does the job. Excellent. Right, so the first thing I've done, I've attached the filter to a length of pipe and the length of pipe goes to an in-feed in the solar unit. And I've also used a couple of cable ties to attach the sensor and that will tell me if the water level runs low. I'll drop that into the IBC tank and then I'll start running some pipe. Now when I run this pipe I use these. These are electrical clips and I'm using that to clip the pipe to my fence line here. And when I come to a T-junction, supplied in the box are these little T's. 
pipe at each end and pipe out the bottom. And that way I can send the pipe wherever I need it to go on the plot. Brilliant, let me carry on running the pipe. Now after running the pipe, I've connected some drippers to the end of some and some seep hose to the end of some other parts. And I think with the seep hose, that'll be ideal for laying in a row. I'm going to put my beans in here and this should run along the bottom and keep them well watered. Let me show you some of the drippers. <coughs> now the drippers are these little gizmos here. And all you need to do with these is to pop them into the end of the tube, put them at the base of the plant, and the water will drip in there. It's no more complicated than that. Easy. So now there's a water supply in, there's a water supply out. I'm about to start the pump. And all I have to do is press and hold this for a few seconds, and the pump should start. There we are, can you hear that? Now it is reasonably quiet. It's not silent, but it's quiet enough not to disturb anybody else. Brilliant. Let me check if the all important water supply is coming through now. Yeah, it seems to be coming through from the end of this dripper. Yeah, it's quite a flow rate. I think the rate is one litre per hour. So that should be enough to keep this giant pumpkin watered. Let me check the others. Now also, the seep hose, as you can see, the water is seeping through all the pores in it. That's gonna be excellent for watering this row of beans. I'm really pleased with that. So there we are, that's the watering system all set up. Now I'm gonna keep an eye on it over the next few days just so I can play with it a little bit and get the balance right. But by using this solar watering system, it's going to save me from having to keep using one of these. It's also going to save me a lot of water because I have a limited amount in the IBC tank. It's going to save me lots of time. And also, I won't even have to be here. What more can I want? Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment or maybe even consider clicking the subscribe button and come along and join the channel. So I'm Gang Gang, this is Gang Gang and Peanut, two peas in a pod, and as ever, until next time, take care. Bye.